Well, especially at the holidays, making your friends and family feel warm and full of love or, and good food is, well, top priority, but not at the expense of having time to spend all the time in the kitchen. Well, don't worry. Registered dietitian Amy Goodson has got our back this holiday season, and she's joining me this morning. Good morning, Amy. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Boy, it's so, I mean, just thinking about the yummy things coming around the corner with Thanksgiving and Christmas. For me, who doesn't have to spend all day in the kitchen doing it, I'm, I'm excited. But boy, for people who have to, you know, spend all of their time in the kitchen creating all this wonderfulness, it's a little challenging. So you've got some, some tricks and tips and some essential foods that are going to make it easier for us this year. Yes, 100%. So one of the best ways to really please everyone at your holiday gathering is to put together a beautiful, entertaining board. Now, Craig, I'm all about crunch. So my go-to is La Panzanella Crocantini crackers. Now, this is a really fun fact because Crocantini is actually Italian for crunchy little bite. So the perfect thing for your cheese board. And I love these because they're made with five simple ingredients, really versatile in texture and flavor. So they have lots of gourmet flavors like original, they have rosemary, roasted garlic. So from really dips to cheese, I mean, whatever you're putting on your board, there is a crocantini to complement it. So when you're out grocery shopping, look for La Panzanella in the deli section of Whole Foods and your local grocery store. It looks so yummy. You know, it's one of those things that, you know, at holiday time, you really want to kind of put something maybe a little out of the ordinary or special on your, on your, on your table. What else you got there? Okay, so my go-to ingredient for really everything sweet to savory are walnuts because they can pair in so many different dishes. They're delicious, first of all, but they're really versatile and they're cost effective because you can buy a bag and use them across your whole menu. So I love using walnuts on boards. I have a rosemary sea salt walnut here. Then I actually made walnut roasted pepper hummus. And then of course you can use them in dessert. So there's lots of ways that walnuts can really star in your holiday menu. And then of course, as a registered dietitian, I love that they provide plant based nutrition and they're actually an excellent source of the essential plant-based omega-3 ALA. So next grocery run, grab a bag or two of walnuts so you can get creative in the kitchen. And here's a little pro tip. Walnuts actually need to be stored in an airtight container in the freezer or in the fridge. I'd recommend right by your cheese so that you're ready to entertain. Well, you know what? Speaking of that, boy, sometimes at the holidays, people just pop in. So what do you have there that maybe is, you know, a quick fix to still be kind of glamorous and glitzy and holiday-y, but easy? Yes, so my go-to for all those surprising guests is Maury's Fine Fish and Seafood. So they have a variety of premium quality, responsibly sourced seafood options. Like today I have wild salmon steakhouse full of flavor. They have wild pod, butter and herbs, so lots of different flavors. And what's great is that these are all really easy to prepare and bold in flavor. So they're pretty marinated to perfection. So they've done that for you. And then they're frozen at the height of freshness. So you store them in your freezer. I like to say they're handcrafted by a chef, but cooked by you. And one of the easiest ways to whip up a five-star meal at home for all your family and friends. So get to your grocery store, stock your freezer with Mori Seafood, and you'll be ready for all those guests. Love that. Well, let's put your dietitian hat on for a minute. You know, the holidays are full of good desserts and sweet treats. So do you have some better for you ingredients that you could recommend? I do. So you've got to have a sweet treat at the holidays. And my go-to brand for all things holiday baking is Bob's Red Mill. So they have a line of 40 different flowers that are all stone ground and made with high quality premium ingredients. So with all of those options, there's really a flower fit for every recipe and as well as every special dietary need. So something for everyone, you never know who's coming to your house, you know, friends or family and their needs. So I love that they have traditional flowers like whole wheat and white all purpose flour. You can use those to make cookies. Like today I made pumpkin walnut shortbread cookies, delicious but they also have gluten-free options like almond flour. And then this is actually a one-to-one gluten-free baking flour 
This is great because you can swap it into pretty much any recipe. I used it to make these gingerbread fig bars. Now this is great for dessert, but like for all those you know guests that you have coming over, you can actually serve it up for breakfast as well with a cup of coffee. So you've got to check out bobsredmill.com. Look at all of their flowers, pick your favorite recipe, and then look at their store locator to find that flower at a retailer near you. Amy, so much good information. We can hardly take it all in. Thanks for being with us this morning. <laughs> Look right there on the screen for all of those great things that she talked about. You can find those uh, on websites there and do a little deep dive and get your holiday menus planned. We'll be